Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Tara. Hope everyone is well. Still doing the October readings because my Thursday was just school fundraisers and yeah. Returning clothes that didn't fit and ordering new clothes that will fit. And I'm talking about my child, not me, because he's growing like a weed and I had to go to return stuff today that I bought again because they didn't fit. <sighs> anyway, enough about me. I'm just busier now than I was the entire six months he was gone, but that's neither here nor there. All right, still not making decisions. I'm letting the cards do it. Who's next in line? Cancer, you're up. All right, let's get her done. All right, I gotta like tuck these away so they don't get mixed up with the other cards again. All right, this reading will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine, Cancer. I'm just reading cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay, too. Do not take with you what does not belong to you. Leave it behind. It might not be your message. It's general. It's not going to resonate with everybody. But check your other placement signs if you think you might want something that resonates a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things. Can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And dear cross watchers, you guys are always welcome here. Thanks for stopping by. Universe, Source, and Spirit. I thank you for joining us today. Please help us give cancer messages. Help me to be clear and accurate. And let's bring cancer to their highest possible spiritual good. Okay. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. Cancer, why are you here? The devil. You might just be dealing with a Capricorn. Don't freak out because you saw the devil card. You could be dealing with a Capricorn if that's setting off alarms in your brain. Cool. You could be in a toxic situation. Just throwing that out there. It could just be an extremely... I'll just say it. Sexual connection. It could just be one that you're heavily and intensely bound to. There could be a little bit of obsessive behavior going on. We'll, we'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? High Priestess. Ah, uh, this is a heavy connection. Cancer, you have a tendency to be extremely intuitive. Okay. You're feeling this. You're feeling this on a soul level. You feel like in your gut the connection with this person. And it could very well go both ways. This this is soulmate. Wow. I got two majors off the cuff. Whoa. What do you think of this person? Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving, but stable enough. Hmm. Okay, what do you want from them? The magician. You want to manifest greatness. I like it. I like it. Not bad. How do they feel about you? Four wands! That's a mirror. Well, that's twin flame, if you believe in that. There's different definitions floating around about what a twin flame is. That's another video for another day. We'll talk about that later. But this connection... This is strong. 
they feel the celebration, they feel the doors opening to a positive, bright, wonderful future. They, they feel the foundation. That's awesome. What do they think of you? Three of Pentacles, yes! <clears throat> Mirroring each other again! And this is why I told you not to panic. That's the card of possibilities. I like it. What do they want from you? Page of Swords in the reverse. So well. Hmm. And with the flip of a card, it gets a little deep. I'm going to throw a clarifier on that because this is a cutoff in communication card. Hmm. Okay. What's the obstacle? Death. Could be a Scorpio. death, birth, and resurrection. This is starting to make sense to me now. This is starting to make sense to me. Possible resolution. Chariot! Forward movement, distance. And this is why we clarify. It's making sense to me. Ah, you get back up here. It's an eight of pentacles. We're going to talk, throw it back in, see if it comes back out somewhere. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Cancer, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. High Priestess. Hmm. I need to throw one more on that. I'm catching a sense. Somebody in this connection is connected to somebody else. And that's where this comes in. And that's where this comes in. And that's where this comes in. Just catching a sense. Can I throw one more on the devil, please? Universe, one more card on the devil. Ace of Wands. Could be a fire sign. Could be a spark of fascination. Could be attraction.
Why is the Page of Swords reversed here? Nine of Cups reversed, Five of Cups in the upright. One more. Four of Pentacles reversed. They may be wanting you to cut off communication and let something go because it kips, kicks their cups over. Hmm. It brings negative things in. She can't see these because she's looking at these. Why is the death card here? Oi, oi, oi. Ten of swords reversed. Oh, it's, it's sideways. It was kind of... You know what? This is upright because it was kind of half janked there. The obstacle is allowing something to die so something else can be reborn. The obstacle is allowing the sun to shine again. The obstacle here, Cancer is the cycle hasn't ended and it needs to. One more on that death card, please. One more. You want to talk. Nine of Pentacles becoming independent from it. Yes. This devil card up here. It wasn't the connection with y'all. It's, it's a connection to something else. Could be your connection with something else. Could be their connection with something else. But a connection nonetheless. Something needs to die. A cycle needs to end. Someone needs to be independent from something. Why is the chariot here? I'm feeling like distance has to happen. It's a card of distance. One card, Ten of Pentacles. I got a Ten of Pentacles and I got a Ten of Cups. Hear me out. Hear me out. The distance has to be put between you and whatever this devil is for you to get your happy ending with the new connection. You want to manifest greatness with this person, but it's very obvious to this person that some you're still holding on cancer if you're the one I'm talking to right now. Crosswatcher, if I'm talking to you... There may be something you need to let go of. There may be something you need to cut off from. If you want your happy ending. That's very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Projected outcome. Oh, 
two cups reversed. Okay. Don't nobody panic. Nobody panic. This is simply the acknowledgement of a connection by one party and not another. I'm not necessarily talking about you two. I could be talking about you two or you two. One more on this two of cups, please. One on this two of cups reversed, please. I'm not taking 20 cards, but I'll take the top one. There's the magician. Letting go. Letting go of an old connection, manifesting new things. Putting the work into a connection that you're going to get something out of. These are junk cards. I'm taking those too. Wait a minute. Those aren't junk cards. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hermit reversed. The moon. The seven of wands reversed. It's not going to be easy. Let me set these over here. Right there. I'm going to talk about this for a second. Yes, that's some crazy energy right there. You know, October is going to be a crazy month, by the way. We got a Mer Mercury retrograde coming up. Mars is still going to be in retrograde, I believe. And we're between two full moons this month. One on the first, one on the 31st. That's some crazy energy to deal with, guys. There may be lots of, like, confusion and unknowns. And some of you may just want to, like, go all hermit and stick your head in the sand and not want to deal with it. But you got to deal with this. You have to deal with this. You can't just leave this lie. Cancer. Wow. Mm. 
Okay. All right. There may be an internal struggle that happens. And it may be hard to find the light and the reason why. But all things will be illuminated in time. Okay, let's get some advice. Wow. Whoa. That just went sideways for a second. Okay, what are we doing? The world in the reverse and the three of swords in the upright. Not allowing a certain cycle to end is only going to cause more heartbreak. Yeah. Not allowing a cycle to come to an end will only cause further heartbreak. What's the other deck got to say? The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and strength. This connection, whoever has this connection with this other person that they're trying to break, this obsessive, potentially toxic, powerfully blinding connection that apparently may still have a hold on some of you because that wand, I feel like it's kind of a hook. It's going to take some strength to walk away from that. It's going to take trusting the universe that you're doing the right thing. Ultimately, you have to do what's best for you. Throw a couple more on that and take two off the top. Three of cups upright, ace of pentacles reversed. And uh, this message might be for some of you. It's probably not for all of you, but I feel compelled to say it because the universe did reveal it to me. Um, third party. Mm. Stay away from the third party stuff because you somebody might end up on the back porch. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm. We don't want to end up on the back porch, do we? No. No, we don't. No, we don't. All right, Cancer, I love you guys. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for stopping by. We'll be back in a couple of weeks for either, I don't know if it's going to be like the second half of October or readings for November, but Neon and I are kicking the ball around about doing a live around Halloween time. I don't know if we're going to do it because time is just, you know, very taken up for me and it's a man-made construct for her and I'm not going to lie, she she don't even know what day it is half the time. <laughs> she doesn't. I have to remind her quite often of what day it is. But that's just neon. We love her to death. So Also kicking the ball around about a Halloween special series, Who's Coming Back to Haunt You, in honor of Halloween and our friend that visits three times a year, Dear Mercury Retrograde. So... We'll have some fun with that. But anyway, be blessed. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to each other. And we'll catch you soon.